I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic functions. We are discussing a test paper and here is an application and thinking question. Question number 10. A parabolic bridge is 40 meter wide. The height of the bridge 5 meters in from outside edge is 10 meters. That is a critical statement. It means what? It means that, well, let us say we have a bridge here, right? So, a 40 meter wide, that means the whole width here is 40 meters. The height of the bridge 5 meters in from outside edge is 10 meters. That means if you move 5 meters in from here, the height is 10 meters. So, this point here is 10 meters high, right, and 5 meters less. That means this is 35, if I'm taking this as 0, right? Do you understand the situation? So that is what it means. Now, based on this, we have five questions. Consider the ground to be the x-axis and assume the vertex lies on the y-axis. So the vertex lies on the y-axis means this is your y-axis. Determine the quadratic function that models the parabolic bridge. Leave values found in fraction form for accuracy. A rough sketch may help. So that is not the situation, right? So this situation they're talking about is, is kind of like this. Do you see that? This is part A. Now in this part B is determine the maximum height of the bridge. See, how far is one end of the bridge from the vertex? along the ground, right, this length. Well, that is 20 meters, as you can see. C is, how far is one end of the bridge? Okay, D is, suppose that one end of the bridge is at the point at the origin, this end. Develop new equation of quadratic function that represents this parabolic bridge. So another axis could be here. This is your part D. So, with that axis, 0 and 40 will work. Okay. Describe the similarities between the functions found in part A and D. So, there are two equations you're looking for. One, where the y-axis goes through the vertex, and the other one, where the y-axis matches the beginning of the bridge. Okay. So, you can always pause the video and answer the, these questions. Here is my solution. So we'll take up each part one by one. So first one is, consider the ground to be the x-axis and assume the vertex lies on the y-axis, right? So basically, now we're looking into this situation. Vertex lies, that means the highest point, correct? This was 40 meters, so this is minus 20 and this is 20. Does make sense to you? So that is what it is. And we are given a point here. 5 meters away means here is 15. And this point will be 10. So, so when this is 5 meters, so minus 5. 15 is 20 minus 5 is 15. That is what gives me 15. Correct? So we have this point given to us. And now we need to find the equation. So we can easily find using the vertex form, right? So, so y equals to the vertex, we don't know the height. So we'll use uh, these two points. So we have to y a, one intercept is x minus 20, the other one at x plus 20, correct? To find the value of a, we'll use this point given to us, which is uh, 15, 10. So to find the value of a, we'll use x. So to find the value of a, we'll use uh, this point, which is 15, 10, right? So we'll use the point p. Let's call this point p, 15, 10. So that means y is 10, a. 15 minus 20 times 15 plus 20. So we have 10. A times, this is uh, minus 5, and that is times 35. 
So the value of A in this case will be 10 over, of course negative, 5 times 35. So we get Y value as uh, minus 2 over 35. Okay, so that becomes the, the equation of this line. Determine the equation of the function that models this parabolic form. Leave the values found in fractions. A rough sketch may be helpful. Okay, so we've done this. So we know the equation is y equals to minus 2 over 35. And you could actually write this as difference of squares. You could write this as x squared minus 400. Correct? x minus 20 times x plus 20. Part B is determine maximum height of the bridge. So the maximum height is at x equals to 0. So let's find part B now. So maximum height will be when x equals to 0. So it is y equals to minus 2 over 35 times minus 400. Right? So we can do 800 by 35. Let's use calculator now. So we have 800 divided by 35 in decimals. It is around 22.86 meters. So that is maximum height, this point. Okay, D. How far is one end of the bridge from the vertex along the ground? That means only this length, so it is uh, C, is 20 meters. Right. So they are only asking you this distance, how far from the vertex. So along the ground, it is 20 meters. Perfect. Now let's look into part D and E. A parabolic bridge is 40 meter wide. The height of the bridge 5 meters in from the outside edge is 10 meters. Suppose that one end of the bridge is at a point at the origin. Develop a new equation of the quadratic function that represents this bridge. And part E is describe the similarities between the function found in part A and D. So the situation has slightly changed. What we have now is the bridge. We are taking x's and one of the starting point is the origin itself. So the bridge is kind of like this now, right? So that is the situation. 40 meter wide will mean 0 to 40. Now in this case, the maximum will occur at 20. Correct? The point given to us is this, which is 5 meters inside, means x value of 35, the height is 10. So that becomes the situation now, right? So in this particular case, the y value can be written as a times x, since that is your intercept, and this is x minus 40. Since we are given this point, we'll substitute 10 for y, and 35 for x. We get 35x, I mean a, and we have 35 minus 40. So that gives you the value of a as 10 divided by 35 times this, which is minus 5. So the value of a is exactly same as we got last time, as minus 2 over 35. Correct? So here is our equation which can be written as uh, y equals to minus 2 over 35 x times x minus 40. Correct? So this is part D. Part E is describe similarities in between the functions found in part A and in part D. Now that's very interesting. In part A, the equation which we got was what? Basically, A value was same, minus 2 over 35. But the factor here was not x times x minus 40, but it was x plus 20 times x minus 20, right? Those were the factors. Well, the reason was simple that in this case, we had taken a bridge as this, right? 
I mean, it's not that symmetric here. I mean, this is minus 20 and that is 20, correct? So this value was kind of like this. So that was the scene in earlier portion. So looking into these two, what could be the similarities and what could be the differences? So let's describe similarities between these. So similarities are, as you can see, that uh, both have uh, same leading coefficient, right? The a value equals to minus 2 over 35. That means same leading coefficient. Correct? How are they related? If you consider, we can see that part B, you know, the axis has moved. So if you compare these two equations, it is uh, in, we can say in part D, equation is translated 20 units right, correct? So that is what you basically notice. So x plus 20 becomes 0, x plus 0, right? And this becomes x minus 40. You add 20 to both. Do you see that? So it's translated 20 units right. So that is the kind of similarity which you observe in these equations, right? So it's kind of very important to see that our equation is y equals to minus 2 over 35 and one equation is x plus 20 times x minus 20. And if I do see translate 20 units right, so 20 units right, then we have to, what do we do? We add minus 20, right? So 20 unit right. So we do minus 20 and minus 20. And what we get is this equation. Right? The, the first equation, which is given here, correct? So that is how we could ex explain the similarities. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. And you have also understood how different types of equations in quadratic functions are related. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.